Hello, um, here I am trying to fit the Metro Man into the boat, uh, being entertained by the cat and mouse chasing each other. Um, I fitted the Metro Man and then had to fit the cable that leads between the Metro Man up to the wind, speed and direction instrument. The Metro Man transfers the instrument, or the information from the in instrument into the boat and it also gives you a uh, time, clock, countdown and a barometric pressure. Um, never like drilling holes in the boat but this one's high enough if there's water coming through this I'd be in trouble already. I'd like to thank Just About Sailing for the watching his YouTube channel. I noticed that he changed the paddle wheel on his uh, his log. Uh, I was having the same problems with mine, erratic readings, and it turns out when I checked it, yeah, it needed replacing. So thanks for that, Just About Sailing. I'll put a link to his page on the bottom here in the, in the description. Test it. So what, what I done was I placed the camera to record the display, and I just went in and spun the paddle wheel myself. Uh, finished that job. It's um, just getting ready to put in the new heads. So I'm just painting the floor here. I'm, the paint I'm actually using is a du Dulux outdoor paint. Um, seems to do the job. I like researching it, and a lot of people use it. Uh, here now I'm, I'm moving the the battery for the engine. Um, I'm putting a bigger battery bank in, so I'm going to move the main engine battery inside. Um, don't really want to, but the batteries I'm using now are AGM and uh, they're sealed units, so it should be fine. just removing all the wiring from the old system this is just a, a kind of a, a bolt that I I connected all the grounds to
I'm only going to use the forward two batteries in series, and the third battery is just going to be stored as a spare in case anything ever goes wrong. Just need to drill holes now, more holes in the bolt, and then we'll have to do that. Uh, just to put the positive and negative wires through to them. Connecting all the wires up to the isolator switch uh, so I can either run on one battery, uh, the house batteries, the starter battery or both batteries. The solar panel is always wi is wired into this also so it's handy you know you can choose which batteries you're charging which is most important which is the engine battery so that is always topped up. I've also fitted a new uh, high powered fuse between the batteries and the isolator switch. Here's the batteries tied down and there's the wiring for doing it in series so it's 12 volt. Not pretty but it does the job. 